Hello everyone and welcome to my first ever mod review at our brand new mod testing facility. Currently today we're going to be testing out a few mods, really one mod with a couple of add-ons. We're going to be testing out computer craft with LAN cables and MIS peripherals. Um, so first thing I'm going to show you is Computercraft in general. Oh, and this is the esteemed maker of Computercraft, Dan200. What's he got to say? Eh, yeah. He is the boss. Okay, um, so I'm going to show you these. This is Computercraft. Uh, ignore some of these turtles for now. That's that's also uh, MISC peripherals. Uh, so this is, this is some of the stuff offered in... Uh, sorry, I'm getting distracted. Default, offered by default in the computer craft mod. I mean, in the you could do almost anything with this mod. I would, s it's amazing. Just gonna set that on the ground. Um, so what I'm gonna show you is a sim what everything is. This this is the disk drive, which I'll show you what you put in this. You put in floppy disks. I'm going to grab out a floppy disk. You can see, you can put it in. These are floppy disks for programs I've already made. Uh, this is the... No, I'm going to go with this. This is the basic monitor, and it's got all this... all kinds of neat things you can do with it. Uh, you can. This is the list of all the programs that come on it. Nothing has been changed as I just place this down. You can add programs just by typing edit, and then name. Uh, we can clear the screen with clear. And one of my favorites. You can play a worm game. Or the false. Oh, they've changed. Okay, they've changed this since last time. It used to be letters. Um. I'm just gonna let this thing die. Oh, it doesn't die. Sad. Um. Maybe if I... no? Okay, that's weird. Okay, so that just keeps running. This is the advanced monitor, which you can see the difference. And I can just do edit, name, if... And you can see this... The, the difference between the two monitors is... This one supports clicking and colors. And I'll show you a really neat program. Paint. Paint. Test. Okay, so this program lets you paint. I'm really lagging right now. Um, that'll show me the grid. It's kind of cool. You can select colors and it'll stop showing me the grid. It shows what color you're using down there. But yeah, you could potentially use this to make quite some cool creations. And you can even hold... Exit. Okay. Um. Okay, so... This... I'm going to come back to this because that's one of my favorite parts. Uh, these are the monitors. This is the basic, and that's the advanced. I should be showing you crafting recipes for this. Okay. There's the basic computer. The advanced computer. Pretty expensive, but I, th I personally think it's worth it. Here, hold on. Um, the disk drive. Let's see, make a disk drive. Monitor. Advanced monitor. Scroll down here in the disks, pretty much. You can die any of the disks. Uh, but when you first make the disks, put paper, redstone, and then the color you want it to be by default. And then. Oh, lag spike. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm getting 10 FPS. Um, one sec. Let me go into here. I don't know why that was set up so high. Um, so yeah. This is the wireless modem. Pretty much you can use this for a numerous amount of things. I'm going to be showing you similar things you can do with it with the LAN cables mod. Dan 200 is just standing over there. 
Um, okay, now to this. Oh, okay. Wireless modem. That's how you make it. Pretty simple. This is the printer. I'll be showing you a program for this later, but you can make these printed pages and you make a printed page by printing it printed pages by combining two or more printed pages with a piece of string and then you can make a printed book by combining printed by combining one or more printed pages in leather and string and they're really cool uh, I'll show you a program for those later I might even put in an auto crafting system oh never mind I don't have the stuff to do that um so yeah next thing I'm going to show you is actually not this. I'm going to show you a turtle. Uh, turtles are awesome. I'm just going to come right out and say it. They are freaking awesome. Oh wait, I can't like do anything underneath. Uh, they're capable of doing many things and they're pretty much robots for your game. Uh, one thing to make them balanced is you have to refuel them. And how you do that is just simply by typing refuel all. You can just type refuel and it'll take one out, or refuel all will take all of it out. And you can see that's that's actually quite a lot of fuel. So I can do. I'm just going to go to this Lua prompt, and all the computers on Computercraft run off of Lua. Uh, it's a very simple, very basic programming language. I caught on to it really quick. It's super, super, super easy. Um, so I'm going to tell it turtle dot forward. And you can see it just moved forward. Turtle dot get fuel level. Okay, that was weird. Oh. You got to make sure you have those things. So now you can see that we used up one fuel going forward. But yeah, you can use this for a lot of things. There's all kinds of turtles. Each one of these require diamond tools, kind of to balance them out, except for shearing turtles from this peripherals. Um, but you can, there's, here's the defaults. There's the melee, the digging, the mining, the felling. That is tree chopping, for people who don't know. And the farming. There's also shearing from this peripherals, and the wireless, and wireless, and the wireless turtle, and the crafty turtle. <coughs> um, yeah, so... There's computer. There's the basis of computer craft. I'll be, I'll be, I'm going to be showing you guys some programs. Ignore this. Um, okay, so this is the LAN cables mod. Uh, what's cr it's really cool. You can run multiple of these cables next to each other with different colors of cables, but two different cable cables of two different colors won't connect. And this is perfect for people like me who have trouble with the red net system. So I'm going to show you this. It's pretty much just a messaging system. Pretty basic. You see this computer is frozen right now. Until I hit send and then I'm going to type hello. And then I want you to look at something. This computer is number 8. Okay. Hello, sender ID 8. And then I'm going to edit receive. One sec. <coughs> Uh, and this is this is all the basis behind it. So, as long as you send it to this computer's correct ID, it'll print the ID of the sender. And it's really simple, really basic. Uh, it works off the os.pull event, which for people who know what that is, if I'm running this and I want to cancel it, I can hit Control and it just cancels. And then. Okay, um, and I can do the same with both computers. And here's the send program. Pretty much, that's it. It'll just take your input using the read, and then land dot send, which you have to wrap the cables as a peripheral. For people who know what that is, uh, I'll probably do some tutorials on computer craft at some point. Don't quote me on that. No promises. Um, but yeah, so that's the basis of it. Let me show you something neat uh, you can do with this. So,
Uh, you could change this to a user table, but a user input table, which would take a little while, but I'm not going to do that. Okay, so that's that's pretty much what my Gables does for now. I think I'm just gonna expand upon it. Um, but yeah. So I'm not gonna show you all these turtles because there's so many of them. But I am gonna show you this stuff. Oh, uh, let me show you how to craft the land cables. Pretty much, you just put wool around them, and you get different colors of land cables. They don't show up correctly colored for some reason. I think that's a bug. My mod author is going to fix. Uh, these two peripherals right here, the feeding module. Uh, this will feed animals that are adjacent to the, a turtle when you give it the... I think it's turtle.feed command. And the resupply module is going to be important for this little device. Not little at, at all. You could use this for a lot. Um, so first thing I'm going to show you is actually... I'll be right back. I'm going to look up some of the uh, commands for this. So yeah, give me a sec. I'll be right back. Hello guys, I'm back. Um, so I went up and I went and looked up how to use this. And as you can see, it's not like a normal note block. That is how you craft it. Pretty expensive, but kind of kind of cool. Um, so we're gonna edit music. And pretty much how this works is. Let, let, let me let me get this. Okay. Um. Okay, so it's so music music equals peripheral dot wrap right. Uh, music dot play note. Um, so I want this to play one comma three. You guys won't be able to hear this, but uh, I will, and I'll tell you if it works. And we can look under programs real quick, and we can see that music has been added. So that's cool. Music worked. There's a beat that you guys couldn't hear. Um, okay, so now onto this. This is the resupply portion. Oh, and by the way, there are plenty of other things than just peripherals. Uh, the only problem is you have to have IC2 and build craft and uh, there's even some for EU3, which if you guys didn't know, you can actually get a pre-release version of it. I don't know exactly where. But, uh, oh well. So, I'm just going to tell you what this is for. This, if you wrap a turtle to it, it can wirelessly resupply. You need this resupply module. So, this can wirelessly resupply. That's how you make that. You can use either Ender Storage, the Ender Chest, or the Ender Storage mod, which is really cool. Uh, but this can wirelessly resupply a turtle. So say if you wanted to keep adding fuel every time it got em every time it got down to one in its inventory, you have to have one in its in inventory. So that way you know, so that way it knows what to extract. And this will accept items, and then using computer commands, will be able to send them out through buildcraft pipes, which I don't have buildcraft installed. Uh, it'll be able to send them out buildcraft pipes, or I think directly into the chest. And you tell it what side, and that's just based on, like, what side, like, what you're facing. Like, this is west, two is north, three is east, and zero is south. Uh, and something you can do with that, there's also the compass turtle, which does a similar thing. And pretty much it will get its direction. Let's open it up and try to get it to work. Um... Uh, you know what? I don't have time for this right now. Uh, I think 
that's all we're gonna do for today. I hope you guys enjoyed my mod review. Uh, like, subscribe, leave a comment, and thanks so much for watching. Bye.